it's May 1st. Isn't it gorgeous? I've noticed something. Um, some people who are on Facebook with me, you know, they're being told, you know, they've gone through things like I have. Not, not even so much MS, but they've just gone through stuff. And they've been told to, like, grow up. And my thing is, you know, I do this because it's out of my normal day of being sick. I, um, I have things that I don't want to think about. Because, like, right now, my hands are numb. And people are like, well, why don't you say something? Call a doctor. I can do that, but, you know, I, I, I can do that too. Or I can go upstairs and just lie in bed and basically wait to die. Or I can go about my life, do what makes me happy, converse with you guys, you know, edit my shows, continue my acting, and just live my life. And I think a lot of people that do YouTube that are suffering and they're sick too, we just want to live as much as we can and as hard as we can without, you know, living in our seriousness of our situation. Um, there's another person that does YouTube busy videos and he is, he's pretty sick. Um, and I know this sort of kind of took away from his marriage and everything. And he's a performer and everything. But I was thinking about it. It's like, it reminds me of the situations with my marriage where I had, I was referred to as not taking it serious enough or it wasn't serious enough to me. I can't live in there. I can't live as a sick person all the time because then I'll be a sick person. I'll just say, woe is me, woe is me, oh I'm sick. When I'm sick, I'll be sick. When my body says, look, you're done for today or you're done for right now, you're going to have to rest. There's a more, there's more serious situations you got to take care of. I'll stop. But the reality for people like me is we need our quote-unquote childlike behavior and our childlike mannerisms and our childlike way to find our happy place, to go back to where, you know, pre... It's not even so much pre-disease. It's like where we were happy, where we weren't looked on as patients and where we weren't looked on as so-and-so disease oh yeah and she does all this too um we take what we have very seriously i am dedicated to my disease in the sense of i'm very aware that every 28 days i have to get an infusion and it's basically law with my body i'm very aware of like what my body is and is not doing and like i said my hands are numb and I'm aware of when it happened and as it happened. So, you know, don't mistaken, you know, my joking, my laughing, my teasing with my dad and stuff as a sign of, oh, she's just living with it. She's carefree. No, I care very much about what's going on with my body. I'm paying close attention. I mean, there will be times where I can be sick as a dog and I can't do what I do. That's why I vlog first thing in the morning because that's, I have to get up, I have to go to the bathroom, I have to do what I have to do. So that's the strongest time my body has. So that's why I vlog to you. And sometimes I can only do it the one time. The rest of the time I might be just in bed because I can't move. And it's sad to say I live in my bed sometimes because my fatigue, which comes with my MS, just controls how I am going to be for the day. Um, this time of year, it gets, it's starting to get hot. So 
I'll be a little bit more tired than I normally am. <sighs> Love it. And earlier on, I showed you, actually after this, I'll show you what it's like outside. And those blossoms are starting to come and they're beautiful. That's the one thing I have to remember about May and this area where I live. There's a tree that tree over there that has these beautiful blossoms and you'll see it. So please, when your friend, when there's somebody you know that's sick and honestly they're choosing to live as they're living, let them. Because I hate my bangs, by the way, just in case you know. Because this one just can't stay still. You know what? I'm going to do this. Go on. Ugh. So, <laughs> thanks for spending that time with me. I just want to make that clear because I know in my family people see me as this big old immature, not growing up, and they're like, oh, your family. You know, they're taking care of you. I'm very well aware. You know, when I'm not doing this and I'm not talking, I'm doing stuff regarding my MS. I'm taking care of things in a very serious way. But I promised myself after months of lying in a bed when I was first diagnosed, asking God to just let me go. I'm done. I promised myself I'm not going to do anything else without... A smile and just an alive personality because I'm alive as long as I can be. So to those people like me, fighting, keep fighting, but keep smiling. And to those people that aren't even sick, they're just in, maybe in a bad mood or dealing with somebody like that, just keep smiling, whether here or here or here. Keep laughing. That was the best thing. Laughter. Oh my gosh. I remember I had to laugh. I had to or I wasn't living. So my wish to you guys, live. Laugh. That's it. That's all it takes. And fight on. It just so happens I'm wearing a Superman shirt. I, I didn't even realize. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I realize I, whenever I put these together, I'm always watching and I realized I had said something and I want to clarify. Yes, my hands are numb and yes, I will contact my doctor and we'll talk about it. I'm very active with my doctor about my meds and my health and he is very active. That's why I picked him as my doctor. So don't worry. I'm taking care of stuff. I'm working it out and everything's going to be fine. I just wanted to let you know, while we're doing this, while we're doing all this, we're doing what we got to do. Trust me. Don't worry. You guys take care. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Let's see. Is there anybody's birthday today? Yes, I think it was. Yeah. Happy birthday, everybody. I forgot who it was. But, um, have a good day. I'll see you in the morning.